Hello, everybody! Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome, one and all. Now, I know in the last episode, well, the first episode of Legends of Suit Larry 1, I teased everybody that said I knew the intro story to Leisure Suit Larry and how he came to be in Lost Wages and who he is and what he's all about. And then I completely forgot about it, my sincerest apologies. But I do have here the manual, the original manual for Leisure Suit Larry 1. Not the one that came with the uh, collection. I think it's Greatest Hits and Misses, which is a little bit different. Which I'll take a look at. Maybe something's a little bit different in there. But here's the original story of Leisure Suit Larry. So you know what he's all about before we follow him through an adventure of, what, seven games? And then the other two, which may or may not be mentioned at the end. Was it two or three um, awful, terrible games at the end? Anyway, doesn't matter. We'll talk about that later. Anyway, Leisure Suit Larry. So this is what Leisure Suit Larry used to look like. Pathetic, isn't it? Notice the receding hairline and the expanding waist. Rather pear-shaped our Larry with a kumquat nose. The cardigan sweater and pocket protector give you a pretty good idea of what is a totally mild and lazy guy. The old Larry Laffer was a confirmed bachelor. At 38 years old, he still lived with his mother, and the idea of asking a woman out was basically terrifying. He felt more comfortable at night curling up with a good book, his favorite Know Your RS-232 serial port, and listening to his record collection, which absolutely reeked of Air Supply and Barry Manilow. And then one day, it hit him. Larry realized that his opportunity to live was passing by faster than an ugly woman on the way to her wedding. So he decided to change. No more Mr. Nice Guy, he shouted. It's time to party. I realized that my Larry Laffer sounds a lot like Wallace Shawn. But a bow yeah, new Leisure Suit Larry. This is the new Larry Laffer. Underneath all the polyester and gold, he is still the same weenie he always was. But after a credit card blitz and night fever polyester plaza, Larry is equipped for a night on the town. Notice the solid white leisure suit, genuine gold lacquered chains, the stepping out elevator shoes, and the Saturday Night Fever style bouffant haircut guaranteed to get the chicks by the truckload. A few nights at the Disco on Fire Health Club and Dance Spa has given Larry the new confidence, new grace, and 360 degree move that has to be seen to be believed, which we did see. And the, there it is, there he is spinning around. I wondered how a nerd like that got dance moves. Now Larry Laffer has landed and lost wages for one fabulous evening. Watch out world, here he comes. Well, I was just poking through the manual for the new collection. I didn't find anything new about his history, but I did find this, uh, what appears to be an application or a response letter for a credit card or something? From Who's Whom in America in Salt Lake City, Utah, from the desk of Mr. Mowini. I get it. Dear Mr. Laffer, frankly, I'm puzzled. I don't understand why you haven't responded to the fabulous offer we recently made you. Let's face it, Lawrence. Men have it rough in today's world. What with the so-called women's liberation movement, it's getting harder and harder to find a suitable mate. Even for fabulous, studly, sensitive guys like yourself, Lawrence. We want you to know that we appreciate your finer qualities. After all, you're in full flower of your manhood. A young, active, 48 years old, barely out of your teens. We know you've got a solid, established career as a traveling software salesman. And to make more than N.A. a year, you've resided in one of America's finer neighborhoods, any town, for 40 years, long enough to have an established reputation as an adequate credit risk. So why wouldn't any woman leap at the chance to throw herself on your strapping, muscular 65-inch frame? We'll tell you why. They would. But it's just so hard to meet the kind of woman you deserve. That's why we know you'll jump at the chance to be included in this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. An opportunity to have your face and your vital statistics included in what's sure to be this year's most sought-after book, Who's Whom in Single Men in the Southwestern United States. Imagine, women all over the country will be receiving this copy of Southwestern United States' most eligible bachelors, and not just any women, Lawrence, the kind of women we know that you like. Women with the medium handfuls you've told us that you love so much to look at, to touch, to nuzzle. Single, attractive, available women with any length legs, beautiful, clean hair, and yes, derrieres. Don't waste another minute, Lawrence. Fill out the form at the bottom of this page and include your check or money order or just use your non-credit card and you'll be on your way to a lifetime of babes. 
enthusiastically, Adolf Mawini, <laughs> Vice President, Direct Mail Department. And I guess before we go and join Leisure Suit Larry and uh, I think he goes to LA next, he'll be a little bit further to the west, let's show off a couple of the things that I missed. Uh, a couple of good deaths, which I knew existed in uh, the, the original version, and I'm not sure how many made it over to the remake, so let's find out. Oh, and of course, I go the one way that won't get me killed. I think you walk into any dark alley and then this happens. And down he goes. Larry, when are you going to learn to stay out of those dark alleys? I think the same thing happens if you walk off the street in any direction on any screen. But the first time you die... Hey guys, he's screwed up again. Dump this one down the tubes and get him another body. The game has mercy on you and it, it takes you behind the scenes. There we go. There's like, and they're really into recycling here. Oh, oh. oh God, that's awful. Torn bits of leisure suit everywhere. Larry, no. There we go. There goes Larry reconstituted. Yep, yeah, yeah, rewind it, bring it back. There he is, Larry, good as new. Alright, bring him back up. Let's try this again. Now you know what we have to go through every time you press restart. And there he is, back good as new. So that's what happens to Larry every time you die or you hit restart or restore. They have to make a whole new Larry from scratch. Well, not from scratch, they use the old parts. So this, uh, Larry actually has a very small carbon footprint. And that's not a joke of his shoe size or his stature or his, yeah, yeah, it really is. You know, I didn't notice before, but uh, let me pay him before he gets mad. But uh, when you pull over, the, the little turn signal comes on. That's, uh, that's a nice little touch. I never noticed that before. Cute. Now, I was really sad to learn that a lot of my favorite deaths from the original did not make it into the remake, and for good reason. Maybe eventually I'll show you. I'll show you the VGA version, or the, not the VGA, the, uh, the original version of Leisure Suit Larry 1, because the entire game does run on a, a kind of a time limit. Like, if you look at your clock, your, your watch, you know, you know what time it is. But I believe in the original game, thanks to the comments, I looked up, and this is true, that if you wait long enough, or if you don't make it in time, and and the sun rises, like at 6 a.m., Leisure Suit Larry shoots himself in the head because he couldn't get laid. It's like, this is my last chance. And then, yeah, the sun comes up, beautiful, it's well animated, you get a close-up, he raises the gun to his temple, and kaboom! Gone. So, look that one up on YouTube if you want. Uh, I, I don't have time to go back and play the entire game and wait around for ages and ages for that to happen, but you know eventually I will, so stick around, you'll see that. Anyway, that's pretty much all there is to Lisa Suit Larry 1 that I wanted to show off, so we will see you guys in LA. Good night, Jelly Beans. Blah, 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 blah. Good night.